Leggy, come on. Yeah, right, here come the bills. <laughs> All right, so this is the house. I've been meaning to do a little walk through with some of our initial ideas for a while now, especially before we get started. So it's been about two weeks owning this house uh, and probably been thinking about what to do for definitely as much as that time, if not a bit more. So currently there's obviously this driveway going through and there was an old, looks like an old driveway, you can't quite see it well from here, but when you get down there, it's certainly on the level, just happening there, and it sort of pitters out here. There are two sections on the property. There's this one here, which runs straight down there, and there's one over there, which the house is on. Uh, initial thoughts is to cut a driveway, a second driveway, across there, and terrace up there and when we get up there uh, you'll see why we're thinking to do that <clears throat> part of our objective is to get well uh, to be living on the one level and at the moment all the living is on this level some of our initial thoughts because this is um, Northeast is that way, north is that way, so we've got some big pine trees to think about cutting. Um, and the morning sun is rising over here, and all these deciduous trees, uh, well they're good in the winter in that they let in the sun, but in, and in the summer they give us shade. But what we're thinking here is to possibly put a conservatory off the side here, actually out to here. But the dilemma is that it will obscure the view from the current living room, meaning that we've got to come down to this level for kitchen, probably dining or something like that. Uh, the heat generated from the cooking in the kitchen then flowing up as well as the sun coming through the windows and heat flowing up. We'll see if we can get a look into what this is. It used to be used as a laundry, carport, I've already started work in here. The first job we're going to do is restumping, so you can see some very um, bit of half-assed actually. These are just coppers, logs buried in the ground, no no concrete, uh, and some of the spans are too much. This is a temporary one that I've knocked in because you can see there's some sagging happening there, and you can certainly notice that when you're up in the living room. So we're looking at restumping. So I've just been clearing out all the junk, digging it out a bit more. There's possibility that we can get a fairly substantial storage area in there and here depending on whether we decide to do a conservatory to, uh, decides whether or not we knock out this deck and this stone wall and this then becomes kitchen dining and it goes out there a couple of meters out that way it seems like a bit of a dramatic thing to do but uh, and sad to do because the stone wall is lovely but you probably can't see it too well on this video See how it's bowing out there a little bit, and there's some cracks. It's not on foundation. I mean, it's been here since 1944, but well, actually this stonework was done in the 50s, as it turns out. But it is lovely. Uh, but when you get up and see the deck, actually you may as well go up that way. You'll see why the knockdown is the option. There you go. So they've tried to waterproof the deck. There's plastic sheeting with fiberboard on top, and it's leaking underneath. Not not seriously. So we could redo this for a temporary measure. But um, anyway, that conservatory idea and possible knockdown is not our first priority. Restumping under the house is our first priority. Here we are. So we're trying. Uh, such an eve setting up for our picnic already, are you darling? That fireplace is an absolute beauty. Really starts easily, draws straight away. Even if even if it's super cold, draws really well. But 
the level, basically, you can see by the crack here, crack here, and crack there, what certainly happened is this corner has dropped. And the restumping, the temporary restumping that they've already done under there hasn't really addressed that drop. They don't have any new stumps under there. So that's the first thing we do is lift that back up. Then there's a little bit of sag going on in this corner. And getting under there, there's simply no stump under there. So we're looking at a full restumping under the house. There's something like um, probably about 30 stumps. So it's a fairly substantial job. Okay, now second problem is this mould. There's quite a bit behind there as well, you can see there. Okay, so I've been up into the cavity. You go up through there, this is the bathroom. Tiny little bathroom, nice little lookout though. And uh, I and went across there checking it all out for any moisture and it was on a rainy day and there's no moisture. It's good, solid, no rot, no termite in, in the, um, in the uh, trusses. We've pulled out a bit of plaster here already and put our hand in and felt there's no moisture there either. None of it's insulated though. It gets very cold up here in the winter and it's damp because we're underneath the pine trees. So the conclusion at the moment is this is from condensation. Just moisture in the condensation plus the bathroom steam and all that sort of stuff. You see the windows don't open. There's very little airflow. That door doesn't open. Very little airflow through here. Not much sun coming in. So I reckon that's mold from, um, from condensation. So anyway, what we're gonna do today is uh, try and pull away all this drywall, exposing everything in there, have a proper look. Okay. Hang on, Bess. We're gonna jack up the house and, um, and, and uh, then once the house has been jacked up, put the new plaster on and sort this room out. Hang on, Beth. Okay, so that's that room. Uh, I can see, find no um, water coming in. So I, I think that's all from condensation. Okay, so here's the kitchen. It's um, a small kitchen, but it's kind of nice actually. Looks out into this big awning under here. Okay. And um, we're not gonna plan to do anything with this kitchen for now anyway. Just live in it for a while. Maybe, you know, get a new dishwasher. That one's had it. And probably a smaller fridge. We don't need one that big. All right. That's a gas heater over there, by the way. So stepping out here, we're now on the uh, western side of the house. All right, hang on a minute. All right, so under here, after we've restumped the house, this is probably going to be our uh, first project. So when I said we're cutting the driveway, second driveway, so coming to the um, this side of that rhododendron there. Uh, let go, come here. So the driveway cuts in, and that, this is all at the same level to achieve this level. So we'll cut that away. We're only allowed to cut away one meter. So we're going for a terrace level, possibly a terrace up there as well. But what that gives us is a platform for the cherry picker to do some of this as well as a workspace for redoing this awning, but we're going to redo it so that this is an enclosed room all the way up there. So we're gonna bring that awning out to this edge and align it with that edge of the house. That's a toilet up there. Um, so we've got two toilets in the place. And Probably putting a slab in here, then putting bearers, and then floorboards on top of that with insulation. Okay. So, the order of the projects at the moment, what we're thinking. Restumping the house. Putting in beams in, this, in that dugout area to open up the space a bit more. Cutting in a second driveway for the top here, terracing it out at the level here. Um, redoing this awning, making it far more structural than that. 
and putting some basic walls in so that we can just potter away at whatever we're going to do with this space. We're not too sure whether this will eventually become a kitchen. Um, so we're just going to basically enclose it to some degree and then decide from there. We have talked about this being a deck, if we retain that deck, so deck coming out here and deck out to there. And maybe while we've got the machine here to cut this driveway, we are, we're going to have to move the soil down to there. So we want to level that off a bit more, put a retaining wall in, etc. And also recut that driveway. Well, it's not a driveway, but it's a pathway. Recut that down and see, you know, basically looking for easier access down the slope. All right.